Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. I'll be sharing my top 10 best Dollar Tree DIY projects that you should try in 2024. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. We are making a vase and I'm going to be using this large vase from the Dollar Tree and I'm also using some googly eyes. I'm going to be separating the googly eyes and I'm taking out the large pieces. Since the vase has a curve, the larger pieces won't be sitting flat on the surface. So we can use those for future projects. I started out using my hot glue to attach the pieces, but I then switched to my tacky glue and that was much faster. All you have to do is brush the tacky glue on a small area and then apply all your googly eyes. So I'm also using my tweezer to place the pieces. And just make sure that you're not overlapping the pieces. And on the edges, you just want to go around and make sure that it's straight first and then you can just fill in the areas. Now here's how it looks. I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum white gloss. I used seven packs of my googly eyes and I have all this left over so we can use those for future projects. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. For our next project we are using three of these wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. They're 12 inches and I'm also using my Gorilla wood glue to attach all three. I'll place two on the base and one on the top in the center. I'm using my ruler to make sure that it's centered properly. I'll mark the spot before I remove the top one. Now I'll add my wood glue on all the areas. And we're making a wall decoration. This one, I'm replicating this wall decoration, but mine will be slightly different. So we're joining those two at the base and then this one will lock both of them. Now it's dry. I'll take it outside and spray paint um, both sides with my Rust-Oleum Black matte spray paint. I'm also using 12 inch mirrors and I'll leave a link to all these items I'm using in the description box both for the Dollar Tree and the items that I got from Amazon. I'm placing my frame upside down and I'm attaching the center mirror first and then I'll attach the other two. To attach my mirrors, I'm using Fix All along with some metal glue. Just use any strong adhesive that you have. I did not use hot glue because I want my mirror to be very flat on my wreaths. I allowed those to dry. The next step is to cut my dowels to size and I'm using these half round dowels. And these are 36 inches long. So we're going to need one piece for the center. So we have one piece of dowel that's going to be 36 inches, that's for the center. Now we're going to be cutting our other pieces and the first cut will be 4 inches down and we're going to cut two pieces of those. The next cut will be 8 inches down and we're cutting two pieces of those.
the next cut will be 12 inches and the next cut will be 16 inches two pieces also and for this two pieces we're going to be using the 16 inch pieces that we cut off and also the 20 inch so we're using nine total of our half inch dowels and to cut my dowels I'm just using my garden shears and these extra pieces that you're cutting just put them up for future use we can always use those So we used nine pieces total, one piece is 36 inches, that's for the center. I'm just using my sanding paper to make sure they're all nice and neat and smooth and the edges are nice and smooth also. Next I'm just lining up my pieces, the 36 inches will be in the center and then the 32 inches will be on the sides and so on and so forth to the smallest which is 16 inches just hold them very tight and use your hot glue to attach the pieces you want them to be very tight together now I flip them over and I'm just making sure that they're nice and tight and I'm using my painters tape to hold them together and I'll just attach two pieces of my painters tape Now I'll flip them back on the front and I'm using my wood glue to connect the pieces together permanently. Please help to support my channel by giving me a thumbs up on this video and you can also help to support my channel by leaving me a comment. Just one word is good enough, alright? Thank you so much. Now it's nice and dry, I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it with my matte black spray paint. And I'm also using my gold spray paint on the edges. And I left out that center area where I need to add my um, frame to my mirrors. That way I'll have a better bond with the glue. I place my mirrors upside down and I'm just trying to center it. We should have 3 inches on the top and 3 inches on the bottom from the smallest pieces. Just make sure that it's straight. I'm just marking a line just to make sure that I place them back correctly after I add my adhesive. Just use any strong adhesive that you have. The Gorilla Construction Glue would work perfectly for this project, but I didn't have any of those. To hang our wall decor on the wall, I'm just using this picture frame hook and I'm using two small screws to screw it in the back. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. I'm going to be using this large cone from the Dollar Tree. I'll just peel off that sticker at the top and you could use a blow dryer to make this process much easier but I peel off the outer layer and then I'm using my alcohol to clean off the rest. I'm also using two clear bowls, glass bowls from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my Fix-All adhesive to attach the two. Now I'm taking off that lip from my cone and I'm using my scissors just to cut it off. Just be careful, the cone is somewhat brittle on the edges. So cut in sections and then um, continue to clean up the edges. Now to make it look nice and smooth, I'm using a piece of sanding paper just to clean off the edges. Here it is. 
and I'll use my fix all to attach the two pieces together. Use any strong adhesive that you have. After it's dry, I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum Gloss White and I'm giving that three coats. Now here it is all nice and dry. I'm just going to cover up that seam with my gold strip. The gold strip is self-adhesive but I'm not removing the backing. I'll just use my hot glue to attach it to itself. I made a set of two. I used one cone from the Dollar Tree and one from Amazon which is a 9 inch. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this project. Let's move on to the next project. I love the texture on these cups so we're going to be making a vase. Attach them together with your adhesive and spray paint them. I'm using white spray paint for this one. To cover up the seam in the center, I'm using my contact paper and I'm just cutting four squares off my contact paper. I'm leaving the backing on and I'm using my hot glue to attach my contact paper. Just be careful not to crease it, we're just going to pull it tight and attach it to itself in the back. Cut the excess off. And here's how this project turned out guys i hope you like this one let's move on to our next project we are using this set of cones from the dollar tree and we're making a candle holder here's my inspiration we are making a set of two they look better in sets so we're going to be using the two cones cut the lip off with your scissors make a hole in the top and you're going to make that hole large enough to fit this tapered candle holder from the dollar tree just like so and we're gonna leave that one at that the second one we're going to cut about an inch and a half from the base and about half an inch from the top and this is how they should look together use your strong adhesive to attach the cone and the candle holder Make sure they're straight. If you have a level, just use it to make sure that they're straight. Put those to the side to dry. We're also using a drinking glass from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to make a ring going all the way around the glass, a gold ring, about one third of an inch. So I'm using my tape to tape it off. And because it's curved, you have to break the tape in pieces and then use a rubber band to make sure that the paint will be straight. I'm also placing something on the inside to catch the paint. Now we have all our items dry and we're going to take them outside and spray paint them. And I'm using my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint. Just give them two nice coats. Now here they are nice and dry. I have some overspray on the inside, so I'm just using my alcohol to clean off that overspray. Now for the cone area, just to cover it up and make it look neat, I'm going to be using foam board from the Dollar Tree. 
just place the cone on top of the foam board and trace it with your pencil and then cut it out with your exacto knife you want to cut it on the inside of your mark so it will fit inside of the cone now add your foam to the base and I'm using just my hot glue to add the foam and then I'll be covering it up with a piece of dust cloth just to make it neat you can use the Dollar Tree felt it is sturdy but if you want it to be a little bit heavier you can add some tacky glue on the inside of the cone and sprinkle it with sand and that will add some weight to the base okay I normally wait until the end of the video to ask for a thumbs up but I'm gonna ask you right now please give me a thumbs up it really supports my channel another way that you can support my channel is leaving me a comment okay it doesn't have to be a sentence one word it's good enough also sharing the video helps just share it with one contact all right thank you so much I really appreciate that now place your adhesive on the inside of the candle holder make sure that the adhesive is flowing on the inside because the cup will be resting on the inside Use your level to make sure that it's nice and straight. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. We are using mirrors from the Dollar Tree and this is the medium sized mirrors. Remove the plastic. We're gonna cover the mirror so we can spray paint the frame. And I'm just using a piece of paper, marking out the mirror, and then I'll use my scissors to cut it out. I'm using my hot glue to attach that paper to the mirror. And then I'll take them outside and spray paint them with my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint. And I'll be using three mirrors for this project. This is the mirror that we're making. It's four mirrors, so you can go ahead and use four if you'd like. I'm also using these pieces of wood that I have, the Dollar Tree cell wood. So if you're going to be using the Dollar Tree wood, it's 18 inches, so go ahead and use three of the small mirrors instead. I'm going to attach my two pieces of wood together and I'll use my Gorilla wood glue to attach my wood pieces. I'm also using two dowels. I got these from Walmart and they're 3 8 inches. I'm going to cut my dowels six pieces. The largest piece will be six and a half inches and five and three quarters. Then five inches. Then four and a quarter inches. then three and a half inches and then two and three quarters so we have six pieces I'm using my garden shears to cut my dowels then I'll take a piece of sanding paper and clean up the edges of my skewers just to get them nice and neat I'm working on a silicone surface so I'm going to go ahead and attach all my pieces together using my hot glue and I'm laying them in a staggered motion. I'm placing the largest one first. Now I'll go ahead and attach my design to my frame and I'm using my strong adhesive. For my strong adhesive, I'm using Aline's mixed media adhesive and I'm placing the glue about one and a half inch on my frame and then I'll attach my design and I'll do that for both sides. Now 
Now I'll go ahead and use some indoor latex paint to prime my base. After that was dry, I took it outside and I spray painted the back matte black and the front I used my reflective gold spray paint. Now we're all dry, this is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and attach my mirrors and I'm using my strong adhesive and my hot glue. I'll place my first mirror on the edge of the frame. Just make sure that it's even on both sides of the frame. I'll place the next mirror on the opposite side, also on the edge of the frame. And then I'll place the last mirror in the center. To hook this wall decoration on the wall, we are using a picture frame hook and I'm just using my hot glue to attach the hook in place and then I'll use my screwdriver to attach it with my screws. Remove your paper and clean your mirrors with alcohol. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. We are making a set of wall sconces. We are using balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree and this is a large size. I'm also using a foam disc and I'm just going to place those balloon sticks in the foam disc and use my metallic gold spray paint and I'll spray paint those sticks and I'm doing 10 pieces of those. I'm also using 24 pieces of my clear sticks so for each sconce you're going to need about 4 packs of um, balloon sticks or 10 gold bamboo sticks and I'm just going to cut them down to size and the longest one is 17 and a quarter inches. So I need one piece of that and then the next size down will be three quarters less. So that's 16 and a half inches and we're cutting four pieces of those. So each size we're going to be cutting four pieces of each size and the next size will be 15 and three quarters and so on. The next size after 15 and three quarters will be 15 inches and that's going to be two pieces of gold. So we're using four clear, then separate it with one gold and we're doing the same for the opposite sides. Now this is our center piece and I'm using my same foam disc. I'm finding the center of my longest stick and I'm placing it right on that foam and making sure that it's lined up properly and I'm using my hot glue for this. Just make sure that first one is lined up properly and then you'll get all of them correct. Now on each side of the first one, I'll be placing my two longest pieces of clear. So on each side, we're going to have two pieces that are the same size. And then we're using a gold to separate each four. Now we're on the last one. Now I'll just use my knife to cut the excess foam. I'll place that to the side and I'm using some tower blocks from the Dollar Tree also. And I'm using my wood glue to attach them together.
Just use a generous amount of wood glue because this is how we're going to be hanging it on the wall. So we're using a total of 16 pieces of our tower blocks and we're just making a rectangle. Now place that piece of foam that you cut off in the center. Just make sure that it's centered. And then I'm using my wood glue to connect four more pieces of my tower blocks. And I'm turning the skinny side upwards. Making sure that it's lined up properly with the base and make sure that it's very close to the foam disc. Now remove the foam disc and allow it to dry. Now it's dry, I'm flipping it over and I'll attach one piece of tower block to the back. And this is just to balance out the sconce while it's on the wall. I'll take it outside and spray paint it black using my matte black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. While that's drying, I'm going to be working on my sconce and I'm using a piece of uh, my gold contact paper. And it measures two and a half inches by ten and three quarters. Make sure that you cut it in the seam so it will be straight. Just going to flip my sconce over and use a small amount of glue right on the edge. And I'm not removing the backing because I don't want it to show those wrinkles. Or I don't want to see my sticks from the front. I'm using my glue on the ends on both sides. Just make sure that it's nice and tight. Now it's just to attach it to our back and before I do that I'm going to be adding my hooks and I'm just adding one hook to the back. I'm using my hot glue to hold the hook in place and then I'll use my screwdriver with my screws just to secure it. Now the last step is to add some hot glue and connect the two pieces together and this should be nice and tight. And the hot glue is enough, but if you want it to be more secure, you can add some strong adhesive. I'm going to be attaching my sconce to the wall using these wood screws. Now to add my lights, I have these RGB lights and their remote control and I'm going to be using four of them. Four comes to a pack. They come with magnets so all you have to do is glue the magnet in place and then add the light to the magnet. That way it's easy for you to remove the lights when it's time to recharge them. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like it. Let's move on to our next project using wood planks from the Dollar Tree and we're going to be using both sizes that they have. I'm using my pencil to make random marks and then I'll be using my utility knife to score the area. And you're going to need to score it about five times before it goes all the way through. For this project we're making a wall decoration and here's our inspiration. For this project I'm also using an old picture frame. I removed the canvas and I'm just using the frame. I'm using my Gorilla wood glue to make the corners more permanent. So for the metal area, we are going to be using our bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just cutting random lengths and you just need one pack for this project. Then I'll place my skewers in a geometric pattern until I like the way they look.
Now connect the design with your hot glue and just put a small amount in all the seams. This is just to hold it until we use our permanent glue. Now flip your design over. We're going to be using Gorilla Wood Glue for a more permanent bond. Just add a generous amount of the Gorilla Wood Glue in the seams. And I'm also brushing the glue all over the design. And this will add some shine to our skewers. Now here's our frame. This is the back, the part with the staples. I'm going to be adding skewers along the four sides. So I'm using some tower blocks just to elevate the skewers. I'm cutting the exact length and width for the frame and I'm using my hot glue to attach the pieces. To paint my frame, I'm using this leftover bare scuff defense. It's a charcoal paint. I use this one on my bathroom wall and I'm just going to be using one coat. I'm also using this grey paint on my wooden pieces and I'm painting the front and the back and the sides. Then I'm blending that grey with some white and the result is going to be like a dry brush. I'm doing different colours for some of the shapes and I'm using this Rust-Oleum Copper Spray Paint. On the copper pieces, I'm going to be using this black tempura paint from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to do the same technique. I'm doing like a dry brush and this should make them look like a dark copper. I'm also painting the back and the sides. And for a better transition, I'm taking some from the lighter pieces and I'm adding the black paint also to those. Now our frame is dry, let's assemble everything. I'm placing my design in the center and we're gonna rest it right on top of those skewers. And to attach them to the skewers at all the points, I'm using my Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive. No, this is where you'll need to cut the pieces after you make your frame. Um, I got lucky on most of them, but if you cut the pieces after, then it will be much easier. So just place the wooden pieces underneath your frame, use your pencil to draw the shape, and then cut it afterwards. To attach my wooden pieces, I'm using my Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive, and I'm placing the pieces right in the center of each skewer, so my skewers can show from the sides. If you like what you're seeing so far, please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment. Just one word is good enough. Another way that you can support my channel is sharing this video just with one contact in your phone. Alright, I really appreciate it. Thank you. You just want to mix all the colors so you can have like an even distribution. I'm going to place all the pieces in the positions first before I continue to glue them in place. Like this piece, it doesn't really fit but it can work. So that's why you need to cut your pieces after you make the frame. And I used 11 pieces of my wooden planks for this one. Allow it to dry and hang it on the wall with a screw or a nail. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. 
Let's move on to our next project. We're making a wall sconce. For this project, we are using two cylinder vases from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using two permanent glue for this one. One is an instant glue, and that will allow me to continue working. And I'm using my Aline's Mixed Media on the edge. And I'm placing a generous amount of my glue. And then I'll attach the two vases together. I'm also using this wooden plank from the Dollar Tree. Remove that label. And I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it with my metallic gold spray paint. Now it's dry, I'm going to attach my pieces together. I'm using the instant glue in the center. I'm also using my permanent glue on the edges. Just use a generous amount. Make sure you're lining it up properly so it's nice and straight. And I'm using my clippers to keep it from rolling until it starts to set. Now I'm going to be using this gold contact paper and I'm cutting seven rows of it and I'll place this contact paper in the center of my two vase. The contact paper is self-adhesive but I won't be removing the paper and this will keep the contact paper nice and straight. Just cut the excess off, measure it, make sure you have the right amount and cut it in the line. Now remove it and use your hot glue to attach it. And you can also spray paint the back here, this white part, before you place it on the glass. Um, that way it won't be showing through. But what I'm going to be using to hide that white from showing through the edges, I'm going to use my rhinestone ribbon just to go around the two ends of my contact paper. The rhinestone ribbon is self-adhesive, so I'm just placing one on each end. To hang our wall sconce on the wall, I'm using this picture frame hook with the two screws that came with them. And I'm just screwing them onto the back so they can be nice and secure. To have it nice and level on the wall, I'm using my adhesive to add a tower block. And this will keep it nice and straight. For the lights in our wall sconce, I'm going to be using these lights. They're two and a half inches, so we're going to be using two of them. They come four in a pack. They come with double-sided tape, and all you have to do is place the tape on the back. Then when it's time for you to recharge them, you just unscrew it and screw it back. They're rechargeable. Here is how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. We are using frames, picture frames from the Dollar Tree and we are making a set of three wall decorations. Here's my inspiration for this DIY project. We're going to be removing those tabs from the back, take everything out, we won't be needing those. We're just using the picture frames. I'm using my pliers to remove the tab. Now we're making a set of three wall decoration and for each set we're going to be using five picture frames. Make sure to clean them first. And I'm going to be laying them out just like so. To help keep them aligned I'm going to be using these little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree. Place the wooden pieces between the first four frames.
make sure that the frames are lined up properly. So you should have a perfect um, cross in the center. Now place the last one on top and just make sure that you're seeing an even amount of the space between the four corners. Now use your pencil to mark where you place the frame so you can place it back in the same position. Mark the frame on the top and the one on the base. Carefully remove it. And I'm going to be using Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive for this project. Place the glue where you mark the frames. Now be very careful and put the frame back in place. I allowed mine to dry and then I flipped it over. And I'm going to be using four of my little wooden blocks and place it right in between those spaces and this will keep our frame nice and strong. I'm using hot glue first and then I'll use my strong adhesive for a more permanent bond. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. It helps to support my channel. Also, please leave me a comment. Just one word is good enough. Thank you. To hook our wall decoration on the wall, I'm using a picture frame hook and I'm using my strong adhesive to attach my hook and I'm placing it right behind that space where no one can see it. And we're making a set of three and here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which of these projects were your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.